Yeah, interesting. It's working on different areas. Does a pretty good job there. Hmm. Sometimes it kills your mixes. So final verdict is... So this plugin has, has got to be the plugin with the, the most hype I've seen over the past, let's say, year, maybe a little more than a year. I keep seeing my, my students at my courses talking about it, asking questions about it. I've seen lots of people post about this plugin, Soothe from Oak Sound. I think that's how you say it. But however it's pronounced, uh, I've just seen this plugin a lot. I've seen a lot of people really liking it lately. And uh, I want to do this video because recently one of my uh, VIP coaching members uh, sent me a message and was asking, uh, you know, if, if he should get it and, and what I thought of it. And I just answered him. I said, well, yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of this, but to me, I, I, I see people using it on overheads all the time. And it's like the, the overhead secret weapon. It's like to clean up harshness and symbols. And I told him, it's just, yeah, I haven't tried it because even though I see everyone using it there, it's just, it's solving a problem that I've never had. I, I can't say I've ever really been in a mix and often been like, wow, these symbols have some really harsh frequencies that are kind of resonating in it and I need to get rid of those. I can't even think of a single time I've done like a, a surgical cut on symbols to try and deal with any harsh resonant frequencies. So that's why I just, it, I was never attracted to the plugin because everyone had it on symbols and I was like, I don't have that problem. So it's basically kind of trying to solve a problem that I don't have. Uh, but anyways, after that conversation, conversation, I thought, you know what, I've seen people talk about this plugin for so long, maybe I should just try it for myself because sure, maybe I feel like I don't really need it right now. But at the same time, there are some some plugins out there that they just become secret weapons where you didn't you didn't know you needed it. And then you try it. And now it's on every mix you do. So I'm willing to give it uh, give it a shot here. So I ha really haven't played with it. Just download downloaded the trial and I opened up a session here that you know, is not not without its difficulties, let's just say, in terms of the source material. So I'll try it on a few tracks, and uh, I'll kind of give you my first impressions of whether or not this is a plugin uh, that I would use regularly. So let's hear this track. All right, so let's start with where everyone seems to put this plugin, at least in this genre which is on the overheads and the symbols. So let's check these out. Here's what they sound like without EQ or anything. So I definitely brightened them up. I wouldn't say they're the nicest sounding overhead tracks, but I was okay with them in this mix. So let's pull up this Soothe plugin and it seems like most people just use the stock presets to start. So let's see what this does. Okay, so I can hear how it's maybe a bit smoother, I guess. So this is just, I guess, making it more surgical here. And this will find more harsh frequencies or less. Let's leave it around there. See, to me, it's taking out too much there, so let's back off. So I'm not quite sure. I mean, first impressions, I can I can hear what it's doing. I can maybe hear why when you're mixing in solo, that might be kind of pleasing. You say, oh, it's 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 smoothing out. It's making it sound a little bit less harsh. But in the context of even just the drum mix, let alone the whole mix. It's kind of one of those things where I'm, I'm fine either way. I wouldn't, again, it's, it's not a problem that's begging to be solved in my opinion. So it's okay. I can see why people would use it there. I'm not sure if I'd be rushing out to buy it for that though. Uh, the other places where I've seen people use it is on heavy guitars and vocals. So let's try guitars first because I think this could actually be a place where it makes sense. So here's my main left and right rhythm guitar tones. So first in the chain, I'm notching out a little bit around 4K and 
uh, about six, 6600 hertz here. So this is me trying to clean up the harsh frequencies myself just with EQ. You kind of hear the, the whistle and the hiss of the high end. So I'm pretty subtle there. Let's make room. Let's put the Soothe first in the chain and we'll kind of compare it to just using the REQ here. Come on, buddy. There we go. All right, Soothe 2. Let's bypass our EQ and let's see if this kind of dynamically gets rid of our harsh frequencies up top. That's pretty cool, actually. See so if we can dial this in so that it's it's taming those harsh frequencies a little bit, but that it's not totally killing kind of the high-end bite of our guitar tone, which you kind of want to find that balance. You don't want to kill all of the high frequencies here. So it's interesting that it's definitely picking up around the 4k area which I was also cutting but it doesn't seem to be doing anything higher up now, I don't know if we move this it's almost like it, it doesn't really see a problem with kind of that 6k range all right that's cool I can I can see why this is handy. Now I feel like it does get a bit dull. It does a pretty good job there. I could see if maybe if I was using this plugin, I might end up boosting a little top end after that. Because I lose a bit of presence, but I, it's pretty cool how you just kind of throw it on and right away it's kind of cleaning up all of those harsh frequencies not sure if I love that it's working lower in the range I if we can eliminate that have it just work on the high frequencies here Let's compare that to the EQ that we had. Yeah, interesting. It's working on different areas. So like I said, it didn't seem to really get this 6K noise it's definitely working around 4k all right so verdict with the guitars after a few few minutes playing with it here i'd say it's pretty cool i would probably try that again for rhythm guitars kind of just a really quick easy way to, to clean up some of that nasty high-end fizz that can build up in heavy guitars there so let's try the last place that i've seen this kind of toted as a really magical plugin which is on vocals you place your bets on empty graves. The source that can't be saved. so let's make some room in the chain and let's put it kind of where my de-esser normally is and we'll see if this does a good job de-essing and also if it makes any other difference so this is kind of before my main compression on the vocal but after eq there it is you place your bets on empty graves. Search for souls that can't be saved. you say your victims in the face feel the fate if the doom conspire maybe someday we'll lock you away maybe someday you'll get away Hmm. You place your bets on empty graves. Red search for souls that can't be saved. 
believe You say your victims in the face You'll defend if the day you conspire Maybe It's a pretty good job on the S's You place your bets on empty graves Red search for souls that can't be saved You say your victims in the face You'll defend if the day and to, to me, I don't know. I mean, let's listen in the mix again. You place your bets on empty graves. Red search for souls that can't be saved. Yeah, let's turn it off. You place your bets on empty graves. Red search for souls that can't be saved. You place your bets on empty graves. Red search for souls that can't be saved. Yeah, that's another spot where, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just not hearing... The benefit I can hear what it's doing, but I don't know. It, to me, in the mix, it almost sounds like it's better without it. You place your bets on empty and sure, certain certain notes that he's singing, some frequencies are going to jump out more, but that's that's part of just how a vocal is. Let me see if I can find one more track to try this on. There's a mono drum room. Here's a big drum room. Let's try it on here, see if uh, I can get rid of some harsh frequencies. So what am I doing already? Dipping out some around 100. So why don't I bypass that? And then see if Soothe kind of picks that up as well. Just bypass the EQ I did in the mix here with the SSL channel. Yeah, here's another spot where I'm trying it, but uh, I don't know. It's it's not really. Again, it, I think maybe it's because I'm trying to solve problems that I've. I'm not really having in the first place, which is back to the beginning of what I said about this plugin. I see everyone using it. I see everyone raving about it, but the, the things that they're using it for, it's like, well, okay. I, I've, I've never had a problem with that. I don't know. At the end of the day, you know, spent maybe 10 minutes with this plugin so far. And I, it's the one area where I think it's cool is on the distorted guitars. I think it does do a good job of just kind of instantly cleaning up that high end harshness. I think it, it might go a little bit too far it might do a little bit too much uh, compared to what I would normally like but I'm sure I could dial dial that in more now that said I didn't really find uh, I needed it on the overheads I didn't really find I needed it on vocals and I find with with plugins where you're trying to be really surgical and just clean everything up sometimes it kills your mixes like you don't want your mixes to be too clean it's supposed to be a mix that's kind of what glues things together is having frequencies kind of clashing and, and that's what makes it sound alive is when some frequencies do kind of jump out now and then so final verdict is i don't know i don't think i'm going to be rushing out uh, to purchase this plugin i think it's cool and if you use it and you like it drop a comment below let me know why you like it maybe i should spend some more time with it and you know i think they've made a cool plugin i love i love plugin companies that innovate and they're not just constantly just emulating old gear again and again like everyone's already done that i like that they've come up with something unique here and certainly it has some uses but i'm pretty slow to add new plugins into my workflow and i think this one is not going to make it in as of now so hopefully you guys enjoyed this if there's other plugins that have come out recently that you want me to check out and you think i should know about then uh, drop a comment below i'd be interested to hear from you otherwise if you want to see more of this style of video let me know that as well but make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Thank you for supporting this channel, watching my videos. Appreciate it. Talk to you later.